Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Galaxy, the Insectron Tournament. It is time for Rank B. So Rank B, it is time for... The thing for which it is time is Rank B. So we're two ranks away from quote-unquote winning the tournament. There's actually a rank after rank S, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, the B-rank match is about to begin. Competitors in their rare insectors are going head-to-head. -head. Are you ready to battle? Here comes the first round. Harry Magsy, Bugsy, Lady Han. And this, of course, is not going to be a problem. I'm still doing this dumb layout where I use a rock and roller as a king. It's a dumb idea. Let's play Don't do that. Square. Rock and rollers are great frontline insectors. They're amazing. How's that? Yeah, I mean, this guy's all got all of his dung rollers up front. See? So now the ins the opponents in sectors are really doing some actual damage. I mean, I guess he did have a dung roller in the back roll and he has a bomb snail out front, but... Eh. Details, people. Now he's got a bomb snail in the back row. Wahahaha. Yeah, this did not start out well. All right. I mean... Oh, that was a brave little dung roller. There you go, everything's flipped over now. Take that, opponent. Oh, there we go. One out of bounds. Now and now it's a now it's a really one second match. But I am having a little trouble uh, making contact with the things I'm trying to kill. What? <laughs> what? So there we go, down, now we're down to two, one that can't move. And then there was one. What are you going to do now, Mr. Opponent? No. You have at this point clearly lost, you should give up. So, uh, yeah, 
that this is what this strong. is going to look like from kind of here on out. And uh, I didn't grind this rank, so. The bout is over. You've won. Congratulations. And if you're trying to 100% this game, this really is not that hard to do. Let's keep going. That you can you can just collect rock and rollers round. like nobody's business. You can warp right to um, the area where you collect them, and you have to get the you have to get the dark embers. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but you certainly have to you have to collect the royal fruit if you're trying to get all the outfits. <laughs> I hope you're watching this, my dear Mio. Oh uh, yeah, I hope I hope Mio is very honored that he named Buns after her. Oh Mio! <laughs> oh oh baby! Now see with the. Uh, with the Dark Embers in the middle there, see we have multiple attempts to knock in sectors around. And that was a nice move. I like that a lot. And that was a fantastic first round. We took him down to two in sectors in our first, like, real round. <laughs> Cheeky brat. <laughs> and so here we kind of see the issue with um, flying in sector teams is they will go right for your king. They will, absolutely, just go right for your king. Now, how much that matters in this case, not at all. We're going to murder, we're going to murder his team. Murder. Yikes. Yeah, you think? You think yikes is appropriate? Because because it is. It is. It's appropriate. But we haven't had much luck flipping his team over at all. <laughs> yeah, I said right before flipping his team over. Disappointing. Aw, he didn't say anything about Mio. The bout is over! You've won! Congratulations! Congratulations indeed. Woo! Things are really heating up in here! Time for the third round! Okay. Time for the third round. I'm sure the outcome will be completely different for this team of it's a what's it's. And here we go. This is the layout I use for the rest of the tournament. It's such a better layout. Come on, let's play. One of the reasons I did this entire tournament post commentary too is because I just didn't want to I didn't want to grind on camera. 
the things, mainly the things that are in, like in between, like feeding insectors and and, and such. It's a kick will flip you over and shoot you back a couple of spaces. It's a hard special move to make work. I also develop a strategy of uh, using my roaches first, um, or my dark embers first, to uh, to see how many um, insectors I eliminate immediately. Because it clearly changes your strategy. You're not gonna pound on something that just got kicked out of bounds, and it's a wasted turn if your if your rock and roller attacks and then the next move kicks the thing out of bounds. Well, you never needed to do that attack. Just pound on his belly. All right, this is endgame, without a doubt. Yeah, it has to be super frustrating. Like, this is the best team I could come up with, and this guy is just completely destroying it. Also, that, it, I'm sure it's it's a unicorn. Uh, it, its name is Horny. Like, just, just saying. I'd say there's anything wrong with that. You name your insectors what you want. So yeah, so now our our our, our emperor's rage does a ridiculous amount when it hits. And you would think you're like, well, you could just like you could just keep your if distance. Only I was stronger. Um, you can just keep your distance and use Emperor's Rage on everything. Well, it doesn't hit that much. And because Insectors can move the bout is over. and then attack, it kind of makes it hard. I mean, anything you can hit with Emperor's Rage can hit you next turn. I mean, I know that seems now kind of duh, duh, but... The best part. Here comes here's the, the fourth, fourth round. round. Start. Start! This guy... Muscle Fuji, Big Killer, Stagsworth. Such great names. The computer has such great names for these. Like, the names it gives our people, like Rochelm, Rochinos, they're alright, but... It's funny when it just gives them girls' names, like Zoe. My team's the or, like, just regular the people's names. I, I haven't seen anything like Clyde or anything like that, but that would be funny if it was just, like, Steve. Like, your Dark Emperor's name is Steve. <laughs> that's a great, that's a great laugh. Alright, one, one down, four to go. So again, the, the Dark Emperors are so overpowered. If they knock something over, it doesn't get a counterattack, too. And the fact that they can knock over things when they're counterattacking. All of it, very broken. <laughs> that guy's evil laugh is inappropriate. I mean, he's failing. He's failing miserably. Ugh. I am a little horse, so, uh... 
if I sound a little different for this video, it's, it's just because I just woke up. I didn't just wake up. Once I get a decent amount of coffee, I'm going to be fine. I'm a little stuffed up, too. It's been very moist and humid lately. Like, we've been getting a lot of rain, like, the 95 degree days. It's just... It's just Walked outside in the rain yesterday, it was like walking to a warm shower. It was, it's just, it's unsettling is what it is. Ah, there we go. Now he doesn't even get a turn anymore. So, now it's time for the championship. I'm sure it'll be a real challenge. Just like all the rounds leading up to it were. And if you were randomly, if you didn't have an insector guide, and what you were doing was just going around and collecting, you know, setting traps in random places with random bait, I don't know how you would ever, you know, you would get... The bout is over! You've won! There are a few insectors through dialogue you would find, like the heart roller, but Here we past that. Go! It's the final round! Beetle-dum, beetle-dee, beetle-do, beetle-day, I'm beetle-dork. Oh, beetle-da, sorry, beetle-da, beetle-dork. I like, I like beetle-dork. This won't be easy for you. Unfortunately, no Beetlejuice. Go! I do, I do like the line, um, this won't be easy for you, but it clearly won't be easy for you. Like, he's, he's got, he's got one Bazoom Beetle, and, and that's the only. And, and and if this and if this flips it over, it's dead. Did not, but it certainly could have. So there we go. Now now it's just out of commission. Now he has nothing. Although the the beetles with like the spatulas and the forks on the front of their faces and stuff, they can. They can flip you over. That's their job. This is it. At least I think so. I think they can throw you. Is the There we go. If this one, if this one flips him, yep, he bounces out of bounds all the way across the diagonal. Which that that's so overpowered. Like again, it's just there's no other way to describe the the things this game lets you do. Now, I wanted to take care of him because if he gets back up, his special attack can be reasonably dangerous. There we go. Down to down to a king. And that's it. Now, now down to nothing. Just nothing. I want, 
All right. Now we are the B-Rank champion. The Brank champion. But I was so sure I would win. <laughs> I was so sure you would lose, so... One of us had to be right. See, Brank. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. So we get Devil Forks. And uh, yeah, our team's pretty m our team's in its final form now, so when we come back, uh, A rank and uh, S rank. Obnoxious movement, also. Uh, I will see you guys for that. Thank you for Let's watching. Keep this pace up. Bye, everybody.